What's going to guys? Jonathan back with a brand new video of Destiny 2. And as you guys can tell right now, I am on my hunter because uh, I decided to mix things up a bit because I am just that spontaneous. But anyways, today in this video, I'm going to be talking about the new May 8th update coming to Destiny 2. I am so excited for it. I hope you guys are too. It's really bringing me back in. I find myself playing Destiny 2 more and more every single day now. But the first thing off, they have updated their roadmap. The whole thing has been changed, that way it gives more up-to-date, you know, things about what's happening on the May 8th update. And I'm going to go through every single one with you guys. Starting with the first one being that the Prestige Eater of World is going to be coming out on May 8th with the update. And he just fell. Oh, I saved myself. Now, with the Prestige mode of it, how I know of it so far, is basically there is going to be a specific section within the raid, I think. In which case, they will designate a specific loadout for you. So far, I'm just thinking it's going to be you can only use a hand cannon and a scout rifle and a rocket launcher. That's all you can use. I don't think it's going to be as specific as it's going to be such as, like, you could only use Vigilance Wing and Last Hope. Don't think they're going to be that specific since maybe some people don't have those weapons yet. So... I'm basically saying that this is going to be you can only use a hand cannon and stuff for certain parts of the raid. Which I'm okay with. It brings up different play styles, different, you know, what's going to happen and everything. So I'm all set for that. The next thing for it, it says is the seasonal crucible rankings. Now, if you guys don't know what that is, it's basically a ranking just like in Destiny 1. And it gives you um, a score of, you know, you start off at zero and then you do so much and then it ranks you up as you go along through it. Now, they had this back in Destiny 1, and Destiny 1, I didn't play that much of Crucible, so I had a very low ranking for it. But they're bringing that back, and hopefully along with this, they can bring in a purpose in order for grinding out that level. Because if they just say, do it for fun, it's not gonna keep too many people intact or playing the game over and over, because if there's really nothing to grind for, then there's no point in even doing it. Now, if they have it to where there's like a specific item, a specific weapon that you can only get from doing it only, I'm all for it. Go wild. Make it the hardest thing ever. Make the ranking so hard. Alright, and then the next thing they have for it would be my favorite thing. My favorite thing, private matches. Oh my god, you guys don't have any idea how excited I am for these private matches. Oh, I thought that they were going to be in with Destiny 1 when it was first released. That would have kept at least, you know, me. To stay and kept playing the game instead of taking the break like I did. It would have kept me intact for it. But they're bringing it back. And you know what that means? It means way more 1v1 videos for you guys. And Ninja's going to be definitely in it. We're going to have FW Ashley in it. We're going to do, you know, 1v1s with Limit. Heck, if you guys even own Destiny 2 and you guys want to have a uh, 1v1, just, you know, send me a message down in the comments below. Or just hit me up on... You know, Xbox saying you guys want to have a 1v1, we'll set up a date for it, and definitely, I can definitely do that, because I just, oh my god, private matches were so fun, I love them. It was almost a needed aspect within the game, and when I heard that they weren't going to have it, it, you know, like it brought that tear to my eye a little bit. But the next thing after private matches would be a volt space increase. Now, as I know of right now, the volt space is actually going to be increased by about... I think it's 50? 50 spaces, I believe. Don't quote me on that, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's 50 increase, which is actually, it's pretty good. It's a its a pretty fairly decent size for it. I never really ran out of old space since, well, I didn't play the game as much. Now, back in Destiny 1, I was constantly running out of old space. I had to delete things. I delete, I deleted so many things that I wish I never actually deleted. It was, it was a disappointment. After the vault space, there is going to be the multi-emote will. So basically, if you guys have played Fortnite or any other games that are relevantly like Fortnite, you have this emote will. So instead of having like one specific one that you have right now, like the one I have equipped is, what is it? The shuffle dance. Instead of just having one, you have to go back into your loadout, change everything for it, and we just all died, so thumbs up to that. Oh, I spawned in! Ah, oh, nice. But it's going to have a weapon wheel for it now. Basically like Overwatches too, when you are trying to like say hello or do a call out saying you're oh my ultimate's charged or whatever. It's going to be just like that. However, it's with emotes and I am so excited for that. On to the next thing after the multi emote, it says there's supposed to be exotic masterworks and I am pretty excited for that too. 
I don't know if it's going to have the same aspect as the ones that we have now for the legendaries. I could I could possibly see them actually just making it like that. I wouldn't be upset if it was like that because honestly, I would be actually honestly I'll take it back. Honestly, I take it back. I would actually prefer it just to be like how the normal ones that we have right now are. To where you get a double kill, you make orbs, as I just made two of them right now. I would be perfectly fine if they did that with the exotics. Maybe give it like a little bit more, you know, like a small difference into it. Like instead of it making a small orb for you, make it a large fat orb. I'd be okay with that small change. This is all just basing off of what that they have already done. And so far what they've done is pretty nice. Especially with their latest update in March, the Go Fast update. I like it. I feel faster as I break my legs. Shoot that. Okay. And the next thing up would have to be the... Oh, the seasonal vendor progression. Now, it's just like the Crucible 1 where it's seasonal. It will reset the end of every single season for it. And it's going to have a specific, you know, grind to it. Just like how the Crucible 1 I said earlier about that. However, this one's more of the, you know, whatever faction you choose for. So to me, it seems like you're going to be able to keep a faction and pledge to them, much like you did in Destiny 1s. So I don't know if how they're going to do it. You Maybe you have to go pledge to them and you get like the little badge icon like you did in Destiny 1 for it as well. I don't know how they're going to go about it. All I know is that it's going to have a seasonal ranking progression for it. And... Hopefully it's good. Like again, it's gonna fall into the same aspect of it where I hope that they actually, you know, give me a reason to grind out for it because if there's gonna give me the same weapons that I can get during the faction rallies and everything, then what's the point in doing it? This is the make or break update, you guys. If this isn't as good as it they say it's going to be, if it's not to people's, you know, s standards, then I don't know about Destiny 2 and how its future is going to go for it. So fingers crossed that it actually does good. I know mine are. I would hate to see this game fall apart. Nice nade, by the way. On to the next part and topic at hand as you're shooting me in the face is going to be the improve the faction rally. Now, I don't know how they're going to improve it. It seemed okay to me, sort of, I guess. I don't know. I wasn't, I never really grinded out the faction rallies in the first place for it, but to me it seemed okay. The only thing that I can see to change that they would actually do for it would have to be, you know, there's those farming areas that you can go into and you can just farm the tokens and everything from it and just get them over and over and over and over and over and basically have like a thousand if you just kept grinding enough for like an hour or two. I can see them changing that part. And honestly, that is probably going to be the rework of it. They're going to make it to where you don't have to do the tokens for it instead. They're probably going to make it instead where you have to like do crucible matches and it gives you so much rep for it instead or you can do a what are they called public event there we go public event will give you so much for you know in, you know in-game activities instead of actually just you know redeeming in tokens and for it because that was pretty exploitable and they should probably change that in my opinion all right but then the next part for it would have to be the exotic weapon enhancements this has me very intrigued because what we have seen so far is very, very, very nice. Get off me face. The Graviton Lance is getting a whole rework of it. It's, oh my god, it, it, every single time you get a kill, it like gives off these, the Void Wolfpack rounds for it. It's very nice. Ooh, exotic, nice, nice. And I'm full on in grams. But yeah, that's gotten a rework for it. The Sturm's getting a huge rework where it's gonna be able to two tap someone in the head. That's always nice. Hey, yeah. I'm excited for that. Let's see, the, some of the other guns that I've seen for it that are gonna get reworks. As we know, the Vigilant Swing already is a two burst rifle as well. That's one of the first reworks that they did for it and I absolutely love the Vigilant Swing right now. I was always a fan of the Pulse Rifles. Other ones for it would have to be, I think the Crimson's getting a whole master uh, update as well for it. I know loadout changes might be coming up too, so we might see a couple, you know, hand cannons somewhere hand cannons what i'm talking about we might see some sniper rifles in a different spot maybe shotguns in a different spot we don't know yet we don't know anything about it i know a new game mode is going to be coming out for it as well because most of the people that are um, went to bungie the past weekend um actually did a new game mode for it they're not talking anything about it because of course they can't explain anything and can't give away everything that bungie's doing for it but they have in fact said that there is a new game mode for it and it is very very unique in its own nature and sense so 
thumbs up to that. Hopefully it's pretty, pretty, pretty good. I think it's going to be a great update. I am excited for this May 8th update. Let me down in the comments if you guys are, oh God, as excited as I am for this update because this is the make or break it update, as I said previously. I really hope that they do good. I really, really want this game to succeed. I want it to come back. I want to be coming home from like work and from college to come home and grind and do the raid like it was back in Destiny 1. I have very, very high hopes for this. So hopefully you guys do too. And also put down in the comments if you guys want to actually play some, you know, Destiny with me because Iron Banner is out currently 6v6. That's a new thing for it too. So fun. Feels just like Destiny 1 again. Let me know down in the comments if you guys want to do some of that. And also let me know if you guys want to do some more, you know, 1v1s in the future because May 8th is just around the corner. <sighs> it's coming down to it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like up, up on this video if you guys enjoyed it. Leave down in the comments all your guys' opinions and everything you think of it so far. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out. Yeah.